Hi everyone, I'm Chi Wei and I have just graduated from Malacca Matriculation College I need for exercise slash textbooks yeah, and money for the library The library, the library one thing we know is freezing is really 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 cold and pulang tidak wajib is already set once a month lah. so basically yes you can go home once a month Now, let's talk about food! Okay, so for food, why am I like getting more excited as the video progressed? I don't know, okay. So for food, don't worry, there is a variety. Because in KMM, again, I'll be talking about KMM because I'm from KMM. There are four cafes. So Cafe A, Cafe B, Cafe C, Cafe D. So for Cafe D, only... Uh, Pelajar Lelaki can go because it's in the middle of the boys' dorm. And then for Cafe A, Cafe B, uh, guys can go until 7 o'clock. 6 o'clock. I think 6 or... Like, there's a time limit lah. Because after that time, then guys have to... Cannot go anymore because Cafe A and Cafe B is located at the girls' dorm over there. Yeah, so, yes. Afternoon, right? Got the nasi campur, the tap fan, so you can choose your dishes, oh. And then for breakfast, right? Normally for breakfast, we will like buy our own bread and eat in the dorm one. But if you rajin or like if you eat and eat bread or drink Milo until sian already, or like me, <laughs> then I will go to the cafe and tap out the uh breakfast that is prepared over there. So normally it's like a buffet lah. They will have nasi goreng. Kuitiao goreng, bihun goreng, and uh, sandwiches. So I normally I buy sandwiches and eat lor. So yeah, for breakfast it's like that. And then for dinner, it's like they will have a menu and they will have a few stalls lah, like got burger and everything. So like everything is xian zu de, you uh, you order it from the menu and then they will cook it on the spot and then it serves. It's hot. Yeah, but just one thing, like some people will complain uh, say the food is oily, unhealthy and stuff. So mm, that's just that's just one thing, but overall the food is pretty good. The cafe we have fruits, a lot a variety of fruits, got honeydew, watermelon, papaya, guava, yeah, just a lot. And then um and a lot, a lot, a lot of ice cream. For KMM, I don't know again, oh my god, why I keep repeating this? For KM, there's a lot of ice cream. Like I gain weight uh, because of the ice cream of <laughs> them. So many. It's like it's like wow you cannot avoid one because uh, the ice cream is beside the counter where you pay the cashier you have, so you always like think go and then I always see like they always like uh update uh, you know like the newest ice cream like last time when I was studying there the Kit Kat Gold and then the Magnum cookies and cream. Wow Yeah so like Mm, and then sometimes there will also be like uh, outside food lah where like hawkers from outside will come in like my senior said carnival or sometimes they will have like pasar so like you can like have um other type of food cause probably even the food is like a variety but total sao sang ye hui tsu dao xian le yeah and one more thing if you are going to study in KMM right you can check out this Instagram page over here uh it is called KMM Food Insiders and guess who made that account? Me! <laughs> I'm the founder because like I realized that I kept, I kept posting the food in my own personal account story yeah then I kind of like would that be annoying? <laughs> then I just like made another account and then like it did pretty well like a lot of people followed the account like KMM students because uh, it's like an online menu and I rated I rated all the food like uh, 7 and above is good so you kind of like there's so many things to choose sometimes you don't know what to eat then you just scroll in that account and it's like mm, this one the rating not bad I'll order this and see lah so yeah uh, if you're gonna send in KM check out that account and if you have like um, sing cheat to like uh, continue my legacy and take over that account hit me up just let me know I'll give that account to you. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not studying there anymore. My laptop no battery really. I've been talking for hours. Okay. This category, clothing. I forgot about this category. I think it's 
a lot of people ask about this also. So in the clothing, uh, for girls, baju kurung oh. Then your baju kurung, the rules there, it says that cannot like a lot of fashion fashion, like all those banyak pattern one cannot lah. But then some people still wear it and like nothing happens, so I don't know. And then uh, for non-Muslims, you can wear baju kurung or baju kemeja. So like for KMM, baju kemeja is the like zokong de ifu lah. And then your skirt, right, the skirt has to be until your ankle one. Yeah, no one. And then cannot side ifu, you cannot tuck in. But again, some people tuck in and no one said, no one, like nobody said anything lah. So like actually can. I think can so like yeah and then in KM you cannot wear slacks you cannot wear um pants like you can only wear long skirt mm. but for other metrics can like depends so you really have to check like it's different uh for girls right you can wear wear those um flats black color one yeah and even uh heels right it cannot be more than two in two inches uh, yeah. But I just rec I'll recommend you to just wear flats because I think it's the com it's more comfortable. Just buy a comfortable pair of shoes because you're gonna be wearing it a lot. And then for guys, uh, normal uh, wear your tie and wear your uh baju kemeja and your pants and let your shoe piece here yeah, the black shoes. And then for guys on Fridays, you guys can wear baju melayu. Uh, bring sport shoes because you're gonna have to wear sport shoes uh, in core curriculum class. Most of the time you will be wearing college tee or so like yeah you will be given uh, so technically you don't really need to bring a lot of clothes because you have most of the time you'll be wearing your formal wear or you're gonna be wearing your college tee. Yeah. For hair, yes, you cannot dye your you cannot dye your hair. Uh and your hair must be kemasa. Uh. You for me, I tie my hair all the time, but I noticed that some girls, they didn't tie their hair lah. So I think can, as long as it's kemas, as long as, as it's neat and tidy, then it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I think that's all for the clothing category. Mm. Okay, so I think we have come to the end of this video. I really hope you found it helpful. I hope you understood what I said. And um, if you if you think that this video really helped you and you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate, really appreciate your support. And now let's go to the general advice and final words. Oh my god! Wow! Okay, so first, Metrics is going to be tough, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, so please work hard. Don't leave any regrets, okay? And then, second, enjoy your time there. Don't just study, okay? Metrics is really, I think a lot of matriculation students can agree. It is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You'll be staying in your dormitory and like spending time with friends, joining all these activities. And if like pre-COVID you go you go out and have fun, go kayaking with your friends, go to the beach with your friends, like doing all sorts of fun things. So you don't want to miss that out, right? So please don't just study, go out and have fun, okay? And make new friends because in metrics, everyone is from different backgrounds, different states, different ethnicities. So you're gonna like meet so many different people. Like in metrics. Uh, I'm from Selangor by the way, PJ Selangor, if you're from PJ Selangor, comment down below. Yeah, so I, I didn't really have the chance to like know a lot of people from other states. So in metrics, I really like, like really met a, a lot of friends from all around Malaysia. And yeah, it's really fun and I really appreciate it lah. I, I really like that. That, that part of metrics really, I really like it. Yeah, and um, they will be your second family lor. So just um, really cherish your friends Okay, and last but not least I would like to leave you with this Just try your best, you know It's just 10 months, it's like just that one year Put Do your best, you know Like there's no second chance one So do your best, have fun It's gonna be worth it so all the best and good luck, I'll see you in the next video and bye bye!